Hi guys! Tutuloy na natin ang pag-aaral with Mommy Annie. And today, ang ituturo ko naman ay kung paano gumawa ng dimensional analysis sa chemistry. So, ang dimensional analysis ay isang process kung saan you're going to use conversion factors na you will cancel. Magka-cancel ka ng limits na hindi mo kailangan at iiwan mo yung units na kailangan mo. Halimbawa, nag-ask nag -ask ng isang problem wherein you need to convert kilograms to grams. Yan. Tawag dyan ay one-step dimensional analysis kasi merong direct na conversion factor ang grams papunta sa kilograms. Oh, nasabi ko yung conversion factors. What are conversion factors? Conversion factors are the ones you use to convert one unit of measurement into another. Example nga ulit ay 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. Yan. So, ang tawag dito ay conversion factors. Tap. Mamaya, pag nag-solve na tayo ng isang problem, makikita nyo kung paano na ginagamit ang conversion factors. Ay isa chemistry, ang usually yung kinoconvert ay mass, volume, at temperature. Pero, hindi lang yan pwede. Hindi lang doon applicable ang dimensional analysis. Sa lahat ng unit of measurements, whether English or metric system, pwede yun. So, how do we do dimensional analysis? Example, we were asked to convert uh, 2.69 grams. Oops, let's make it more clear. 269 grams to kg. How do we do this? First is, we need to write yung given. Ito, this is how I do the conversion. I will write the given, which is 2.69. The conversion factor we already know. So, we just multiply it to the conversion factor. Pero, paano natin malalaman kung saan dito ang grams? Saan natin ilalagay ang grams at saan natin ilalagay ang kilograms? Remember, dimensional analysis needs to cancel units na you don't need. So, para ma-cancel natin yung grams, we're gonna have to put it down here. And the kilogram is up here. And then, we use their direct conversion, which is 1 kg is to 1,000 grams. Tapos, using calculator, you can now multiply it. So, 2.69 over 1,000 kg na. Remember, na-cancel na natin yung grams sa ating equation. So, ang final answer natin dito, using a calculator would be, teka, calculator natin para sure. Using 2.69 divided by 1,000 equals 0 0.00269. And that's it. So, ganyan kasimple ang one step, one step dimensional analysis. Pero, meron ding mga dimensional analysis na hindi pwede yung one step na marami pa tayong unit of measurement na kailangang daanan bago natin ma-completely o bago natin completely ma-cancel out yung hindi natin kailangan at ma-produce natin yung measurement na need, na need natin. More of that, mga susunod pang tutorials. Thank you!